Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11. As we approach the driving season, today I wanna to ask you guys, how many miles do you put on your sports cars? We're gonna look at mine today, but I was just wondering, you know, what's a normal amount that uh, most people put on? Uh, I, of course, didn't have the Supra the full year of 2019, just really four months and really three months of driving season. So uh, you're gonna see the number of miles I put on this guy. And then of course we have the C7 here. It's covered up, bundled up, um, but we'll take the wraps off and uh, check on the miles of that guy. Plus, of course we have the daily driver Jeep in the back. We'll give you those miles as well for some context, but um, yeah, let's check them out. All right, let's start with the new 2020 Supra I got at the end of August last year and really only had three months of driving to do with it. Let's check out on the miles. Uh, of course, I have the battery tender on, so the hood's open. Let me clear that. There we go. We have just over 5,000 miles in really three months. So that's pretty impressive. I did take it on a few drives um, that went down to the tail of the dragon, if you saw that video. But yeah, that just shows you how much I love this car and how comfortable it really is for daily driving. And I really do plan on daily driving this again in the spring, summer, fall. So I'm really looking forward to that. Take some burden off the miles on the Jeep and um, oh, you know what, let's let's show you the miles on the Jeep while we're, while we're out here. Yeah, this guy has been my workhorse for five years now and 69,000 on this guy. Now in 2019, I looked it up, I put just over 10,000 miles or actually close to 11,000 miles on, the, on him. So by using the Supra, I saved some miles on the Jeep there. But um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to getting this guy out for the 2020 season. That brings us to the C7. We'll have to unwrap him and uh, get inside. Of course, I have the battery tender on him, but the plug goes into the tailgate area. So let's open him up. And, mm, still love the smell of this car. As you can see, the miles, 29, 465. So just under 30,000 miles. Now, of course, the most miles I put on this car was the cross country trip. And that was uh, in 2018 now. So actually, um, I only put just under 4,000 miles on this car last year, the whole 2019. So pretty surprising, but I had to give it a rest <laughs> from that cross country trip. Uh, a little bit disappointed. I, sh I should be driving it more. And of course the Supra I had at the end of the season, but the the whole beginning of the season, I actually didn't put that many miles on him. So I'm gonna looking forward to getting him out here in March. So again, tell me how many miles you are putting on your cars. Are you worried about the miles you're putting on? You know, do you not drive it on purpose to save miles? Do you take it on trips? Um, I, you know, I go back and forth on this, but in the end, I feel like they're meant to be driven. And if you're not driving, you're, you're just saving it for the next guy. So especially uh, the Supra, I feel like is more of an everyday car for me. Uh, I'll still probably use the Corvette less, I want to say. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to drive them as much as I can. You know, I, I am aware of bad weather, salty roads. You know, of course, I don't drive them in the winter. Um, and they're basically put away all, all winter. But um, in the nice weather months, spring, summer, fall, nice days, I should say, uh, I'll be getting them out. Looking forward to it this year. And um, t definitely subscribe for more videos on the Corvette, on the Supra, and on the Jeep. And um, I'm glad you're part of this journey with me of my vehicles. And hopefully uh, we'll have some exciting adventures this season. 
So with that, uh, definitely follow me on Instagram and Facebook where you'll see like I go to car events and car shows, car meets. We can uh, meet up if you're around the area. And uh, of course, car show season coming up. Uh, and I'm going to be going to New York Auto Show and in Detroit. So that'll be in April and June of this year. So we, we didn't have a Detroit Auto Show in the winter, but we uh, were getting one in the summer this year for 2020. So anyway, guys, look forward to all of that. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.